Okay, um, hi, my name is Dwight, and I am part of a Civil War reenacting group. Well, not really a group, but I do go to events and other uh, reenactments. I am wearing today a Civil War civilian's outfit. It's not one that was used in the Army, but it's someone that would have worn it um, as part of wanting to be a reenactor or wanting to be in the Army or somebody who had not yet been as part of a part of yeah, as a part of a battle um, so I'll start going through some of my uh, clothing articles most of my outfit today I bought at um, a walk-in reenacting store there aren't a lot of re uh, walk-in stores these days most people I think buy it off of the internet or, or online um, but a lot of the material like the wools and the like my shirt my vest here is a um, an accurate material it's made of a wool with a cotton back and some pewter buttons and the um, it's a kind of a tartan plaid which would be accurate to the 1800s um, and the civilian would have worn this like for everyday activities like hunting possibly or just chores around the house or out on the fields um, the pants are a wool material they are also accurate to the Civil War era and the boots are um, British Army boots from World War II. They are sort of not accurate, but the leather and the hobnails or the iron heel plates on the bottoms um, would be accurate because it helps keep the boots in durable shape for long marches. Um, some of my accessories include a Revolutionary War era Civil, or not Civil War, but Revolutionary War era canteen. Um, these were not used in the Civil War armies, but possibly by civilians that did not have access to military equipment like the canteens of the round style or Civil War style. It has a little cork stopper and you can put water in there. Um, I have a knife. I'm not sure if it's super accurate, but it's a uh, an old hickory knife. Um, a lot of the knives from the 1800s, possibly post-Civil War, were like this. So with the wood handles, with the little rivets to keep it on place are accurate. Um, I have a civilian's haversack, which is made of a um, striped material. A lot of the army bags like this were made of a simple canvas material and not the um, fancier fabric like you see here with the stripes. And um, it, I also have a Scottish style sporn made of goat fur. Um, I don't, I've never really seen these in pictures of Civil War civilians, but they were around at this time and you would carry your wallet or um, all the items like some money in it and um, I have a little cap here made of blue and white checkered fabric it kind of looks like a train conductor's cap but this fabric I bought with the rest of my costume and it's also accurate to the Civil War era it's not actually from most of my stuff is actually not actually from the war or era it is a modern day reproduction but they are based on like museum uh, artifacts and things like that so that they are accurate and lastly, I have some wool gloves that I cut the fingers and the cuffs off. Um, these are actually modern day um, army gloves from about the Cold War, but they are probably semi-accurate because they're made of a coarse wool and they don't have a lot of fanciness to them, so they're probably kind of accurate. And um, this is what a civilian would have worn during the Civil War and based on it and other little odds and ends of it too. So I hope you got some information from that and let me know if you have any other questions. Alright, hello, it's Dwight again. Um, I went and uh, got out of the closet one of my uh, Confederate Army jackets. This is one that would have been worn by a soldier in either the Confederate Army or as part of a civilian guerrilla group that was pro-Confederate. Um, a lot of the, in Missouri especially, far away from the supply chains and supply lines of the uh, Confederates, armies, and the stockhouses, they would wear a mix of um, army and civilian clothing, possibly like a civilian trouser or a army jacket or maybe army pants, but a civilian jacket and a mix of the two. Um, this particular jacket I bought with the rest of my outfit or same place but different time. 
Um, it has um, some buttons on it that have the letter I on it. Um, I believe that stands for infantry. And the blue cuffs that you see here, I think it might have been in infantry also. Um, like primarily, uh, Confederates would wear the gray outfits that are popularized. But um, if like you had blue accents like this, you were like infantry or maybe artillery or cavalry. And um, if you look at the pattern of the wool here, it's got little speckles in it, and that is called a jean wool fabric. Um, sometimes like confederates army jackets would be this material um i don't know if it's super accurate but there are jackets made of like a conventional wool just like a mass-produced wool but a lot of the times it was this kind of fabric that was like home spun made in people's houses not really mass produced in factories and that was part of the outfits and uniforms outfits and uniforms that the confederate army would wear during that uh, time period and also from the same place, I have a, an original bottle from the 1800s. I'm not super sure what it was used to store, but you could possibly do some kind of medicine in it or like a whiskey, medical whiskey possibly to help the soldiers out. And it, it is made of an, the amber glass that you would see a lot of the bottles back then were made out of. And I just keep it in my little breast pocket here as you can see on the inside. And that's what the jacket is like.